Hi there, it's Miss Templeton, and today we're going to be reviewing Cornell Note strategies and other focus note strategies for our AVID course. And our daily learning target is by the end of class, students will analyze focused note taking strategies as evidenced by producing one page of high quality focus notes on today's video lecture. Now, before we begin, I want to remind you that you have the ability to pause, fast forward, or rewind so that you can focus on your own learning abilities at this time. So make sure that you guys are paying attention to your learning needs and you have the power to pause and stop. Reminder, so we do have other videos in this note-taking series, so make sure that you go back to our Google Classroom and you check under the resource library to find all videos in this note-taking series. As a reminder, we do have video one, which covers the curve of forgetting, which is also associated with the article that we read from Avid Weekly. We also had video two, where we covered good documentation practices and how you can build the building blocks to good note-taking strategies through following good documentation practices, as well as video three, where we have an example of reviewing a college student's examples of taking Cornell notes. And we also have the rationale behind note taking with associated links. And we have examples from our class of other AVID students who've taken Cornell or Focus Notes. Hi, everyone. Moving forward, we are going to build on some new skill sets. So today we are going to be starting off with our headers and we're going to be including appropriate information. So I wanted to make sure that you guys know to pause here and make sure that you cover um, adding the header information, the title, and adding your essential question, which is why are the first two steps involved in the AVID note-taking process important for your learning, and explain what they are. So moving on for the five steps of successful note-taking for the AVID strategy, um, we are only actually going to be covering the first two today in this video. For steps three through five, please select the next video after this. So the purpose of today is to demonstrate your understanding of the five phases of note taking. We'll be focusing on taking notes and processing notes. Now the guiding principles through focus note are, focus note taking are uh, understanding the note taking process, which must be explicitly taught. And for learning to occur most effectively, learners must revisit their notes multiple times. And this is reviewed again in the curve of forgetting. Every phase of focus note taking involves inquiry, which is a tenement of AVID through the Wicker strategies. Ask questions of yourself, review the content, and always guide your learning through inquiry. Phase one, taking notes, make sure that you establish a purpose and objective for your note taking. Write the essential question to guide one's own note taking. Now, your teacher may not always provide you with an essential question guiding your notes. You might not even be instructed to take notes. So it's important that you guide yourself through your learning through those inquiry principles. Select the best format for your notes. Now we are reviewing strictly Cornell notes, but you will evolve into focus notes, which will be your own style. And learn to use a variety of formats for this purpose. You may even have teachers who explicitly want you to take notes in their style, and that's up to your other teacher's discretion, but always have your own system to fall back on. Write your notes based on your sources and paraphrase information. Make sure you're not writing every single word down. So notes can take a variety of formats. For example, a few here, you may be taking digital notes, Cornell notes. You can incorporate post-its into your Cornell notes. You could have a mind map, bullet journal, interactive journals, graphic organizers, etc. Now, moving on to phase two processing notes, make sure that you are thinking about your notes and this should be done within 24 hours of your notes. So adding those explicit annotations that you need, reviewing and collaborating with peers from your class and providing opportunities for you to meet up and create study groups or shared notes with people. And it can get messy as you're doing your revision process, but that's a really good hallmark of taking high quality notes is when you demonstrate multiple interactions with them. And make sure that you focus on clarifying content and organization. All right, so when you are processing your notes, make sure that you are underlining, highlighting, and circling. You are using those inquiry strategies, classifying, organizing, neatly deleting information, align through is appropriate in most cases, and you're focusing on the main ideas. Now, identifying main ideas can be through sorting, classifying, organizing, and selecting. And don't forget that curve of forgetting. That concludes our video on steps one and two. Tune in the next video for steps three through five. Thank you.